Welcome to a lesson on slope fields. The general first order differential equation we have been studying is in the form of y prime equals f of x comma y. A lot of the time we cannot simply solve these kinds of equations explicitly. It would be nice if we could at least figure out the shape and behavior of the solutions or find approximate solutions. The equation y prime equals f of x comma y gives us a slope at each point in the xy plane. And this is the slope of a solution y of x would have at x if its value was y. In other words, f of x comma y is the slope of a solution whose graph runs through the point x comma y. At a point x comma y, we plot a short line segment with the slope f of x comma y. For example, if f of x comma y equals x times y, meaning y prime equals x times y, then at the point two comma 1.5, which would be this red point here on the coordinate plane, we draw a short line segment of slope x times y, which is two times 1.5, which is equal to three. This short blue line segment has a slope of three. So if y of x is a solution and y of two equals 1.5, meaning the solution passes through the point two comma 1.5, then the equation mandates that y prime of two must equal three. To get an idea of how solutions behave, we draw such line segments at lots of points in the plane not just at the point two comma 1.5. We would ideally want to see the slope at every point, but this is just not possible. Usually we pick a grid of points fine enough so that we can show the behavior, but not too fine so that we can still recognize the individual line segments. We call this picture the slope field of the differential equation. Figure 1.3 below is the slope field for the differential equation y prime equals x times y. Usually in practice, one does not do this by hand, but has a computer do the drawing. We'll take a look at some slope fields using desmos.com in just a moment. Now suppose we are given the initial condition y of x sub zero equals y sub zero. The particular solution, or the graph of the solution, would be the curve that follows the slopes from the slope field and passes through the point x sub zero comma y sub zero. For a few solutions with different initial conditions, see figure 1.4 below. So in the figure below, we have the slope field for y prime equals x times y. If the initial condition is y of zero equals 0 0.2, the graph of the particular solution must contain the point zero comma 0 0.2, which would be this point here in the slope field, which indicates this top graph is the graph of the particular solution when the initial condition is y of zero equals 0 0.2. If the initial condition is y of zero equals zero, the particular solution must contain the point zero comma zero, which would be this point, giving us the graph of the horizontal line. If the initial condition is y of zero equals negative zero point two, the particular solution must pass through the point zero comma negative zero point two, which would be this point, indicating this bottom graph would be the particular solution when the initial condition is y of zero equals negative zero point two. It is fairly easy to roughly sketch possible general solutions to the differential equation by just looking at the slope field and following the slopes. You simply sketch a curve that roughly fits the line segments. If we have an initial condition, the curve must pass through the point given by the initial condition, which we see below. By looking at the slope field, we get a lot of information about the behavior of solutions without having to solve the equation. So again, looking at the figure 1.4 above, we see what these solutions do when the initial conditions are y of zero is greater than zero, y of zero equals zero, and y of zero is less than zero. For y of zero greater than zero, we have all these solutions above the x-axis where the graphs open upward. When y of zero equals zero, we have the horizontal line, and when y of zero is less than zero, we have all these solutions below the x-axis which open down. A small change and the initial condition causes quite different behavior. We see this behavior just from the slope field and imagining what solutions ought to do. We see a different behavior for the differential equation y prime equals negative y. The slope field and a few solutions are seen in figure 1.5 below. If we think of moving from left to right, perhaps x is time and time is usually increasing, then we see that no matter what y of zero is, all solutions tend to zero or approach zero as x tends to infinity or as x approaches infinity. Again, that behavior is clear from simply looking at the slope field itself and how it behaves. Before we go, let's take a look at some additional slope fields using desmos.com. 
the Desmos slope field generator can be found using the URL shown here on the screen. Looking on the left, we have g of x comma y equals dy dx or y prime. And by default, we have g of x comma y equals 2x divided by y. We have the slope field for y prime equals 2x divided by y shown on the right. There's also one point that's highlighted in black, this point here, which we can drag along the coordinate plane. And the short line segment will show the derivative function value or the slope of the solution at any particular point. We can also change our differential equation by simply changing g of x comma y. This equation can be changed from your computer keyboard or by clicking in cell two and then clicking on the show Desmos keypad button in the lower left hand corner and entering a new function. For example, if we clear this function and enter y divided by x and then close the keypad now we have the slope field for the differential equation y prime equals y divided by x. So we can change g of x comma y to any function that we want. Let's go ahead and change it again. Let's look at the slope field x times y, which we saw earlier in the lesson. Here's the same slope field that we saw earlier in our lesson, generated using desmos.com, but now we can animate a point in the slope field. Let's look at one more. Let's look at the slope field for y prime equals x minus y. And here we have the slope field for y prime equals x minus y. I hope you found this helpful.